the Green New Deal is a big part of the real Green New Deal started by the Green Party is a Green Party thing that the squad or that justice Democrats whatever that means are have been advocating for too but uh, we call for election integrity and we will want our, our if, if the if the Democrats believe in the Green New Deal, we won't want them to believe in all of it. And part of the Green New Deal calls for election integrity. So we just had uh, Lisa Neal Delgado, who you spoke with earlier, she had to go out during COVID-19 in a global pandemic and, and, riots. and riots and gather signatures. So she had to go out when the CDC got, and during that time, the CDC guidelines, so our petitioning started May 19th, CDC guidelines said we shouldn't have been out until a week after that. So they had to go out and petition and get 500 signatures to get on the ballot. Our Senate candidate would have had to get 2,000. Our other candidate for CD5, she had to get 1,000 signatures, which she did, but they wouldn't let her on the ballot because some of those signatures didn't have the date on them. But you know she didn't start petitioning until the 19th because the petitions weren't available until the 19th. So. Um, it had to be turned in by the second. And it had to be turned in June 2nd, so they had it two weeks to get uh, a thousand or two thousand, or in her case, 500 signatures during a global pandemic when we're not even supposed to be, when we're supposed to be quarantined. So uh, we hope that Governor Walls and Steve Simon uh, do the right thing and allow our candidates to be placed on the ballot, even if it's just for the 2020 election because we're in a global pandemic. So that's something that uh, we would like to see change. So we're in the middle of a lawsuit, and uh, we had a, a court case with the Libertarian Party, which was thrown out. They're appealing that now, and that we hope that a ruling comes back that allows all of our candidates to appear on the ballot for the 2020 elections. How do you guys get along with the Libertarians? Because it seems like you're both, you're, there's two parties in America, basically. Right. And you guys are fighting to be, Three or four? Do you guys get along? Do you, uh, I mean, how's that work? Well, in other countries, they have proportional representation, so we think we should start Not moving here. into that to that model. We we don't have the same values as the Libertarian Party, but there's things where we do intersect, and one of the most places where we intersect right now is election election integrity, and that our 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 candidates should be on the ballot. Would you guys agree to do a joint debate? Because I, I want everyone to debate. I, I'll put. I'll leave an empty seat for the Republicans, the Democrats, and the Green Party can show up, the Libertarians can show up, and if nobody else... If I'll reach out to Chris Holbrook today. Okay. We'll get cool. that set up. And even the independents, um, Chris Four, I believe. Excuse me if I'm packing your name up, Chris, but we'll reach <laughs> out to them guys and get some some set up. Us third parties need... Uh, we don't get the media coverage that the status quo parties or the two corporate parties get. So. But it's the same point of view, constantly. It, I mean, you can go back 30 years ago, it was the same stuff because the same people control, and, and the media is controlled by the same group of people. Are, are you aware of AT&T's ownership of everything? No. So, Trump brought up that CNN should have been spun off, they, they ripped him for it. But AT&T owns Time Warner. That means they own CNN, they own MSNBC, yeah. they own NBC, they own CBS, they own the majority of distribution, so they own the majority of cable companies. They and own it, MSNBC too? Yeah. I they, thought they, that was General Electric. No, no. It, 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 so Time Warner owns 90% of what you see on your TV. Wow. And AT&T bought it, so now, I forget the name of the guy, but if you want to say something in America, the, the board at AT&T controls 80% of the TV channels and controls more than 50% of the, the tunnels. So they own the cable networks, so they own the, what's on the cable, and they own the channels that are on it. He owns uh, DirecTV, he owns Dish Network, and he owns about 35% of the hard wire cables in the United States, along with 90% of what's on it. So what he wants kind of so goes. We we support a move to amend. So uh, money isn't people are corporations aren't people, and money isn't speech. So we think that uh, elections should be publicly funded, and that all candidates should get equal airtime on 
on TV, and then we also think that uh, our third party candidates should be in the debates. So we think the Green Party candidate, the endorsed candidate should be in the debates. And even here, we're hope I'm, I'm pretty sure that these guys will be in the debates, but we just want to make sure that there's election integrity and that our candidates are appearing in, in the debates. I remember last time around there were debates, but it was like on one channel, and like it was boom, 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 boom. Everybody was like one after another, and it was nobody saw it. Right. It was, like, then I, it's, I was on then the radio, it, but nobody saw it. But then it starts so late that people don't, especially locally, people don't get to see the debates. So I think in the next go around, we've got to start having debates in like December, February, so that people see them, because then there'll be a, the election's over, then somebody's watching cable access, and it's like, oh, I seen the debate. Did you win? It's like, right. the election's over now. So, right. I got you. Uh, website, one more time. mngreens.org, and please donate. Thank you. All right. Thank you.